Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. We're just leaving the house. We're playing some Call of Duty here with David. We were live, well he was live. I was just in the live, which is cool. Uh, playing Call of Duty. Uh, it is Saturday by the way. I have not recorded all week. I barely worked at all to be honest. I've been sick. I feel better, but I sound worse. Makes no sense, I know. Um, but today was fun. Today we went to this like uh, little festival they were having in Mosaic. Uh, my daughter did some face painting. She looked like Batman. That was cool. Um, you know, spent some money. That was cool, I guess. But it was fun. Then got home, relaxed for a little bit. Come, you know, now here we are going back outside. Today, what to expect? I don't know. I mean, it's 5.30 right now. I'm technically dashing along the way to Arlington. It's going to take us 20 minutes to get there. So we'll see what happens. Uh, we're planning on staying out until about 3.30 or 4, 4 in the morning, give or take. Mainly because tomorrow we're not working. We're gonna go see the DC Defenders game with some buddies. I'm excited. I'm hyped. I haven't been, so hopefully it'll be a lot of fun. Hopefully it'll feel better or it'll sound better at least. Um, but yes, yeah, so I feel like you know I haven't really done much gig work or gig content or anything. But I did notice this stupid thing when I went uh, when I ended my dash yesterday. I think where he gave me my driving statistics or how hard you brake or accelerate or whatever BS. You know, I love how they say this is this this is not to count against you or whatever. BS, then why are you keeping track of it? I don't know. DoorDash is so weird sometimes. Like their app is trash half the time, but then they add more features that don't even need to exist like that. I just want the app to work. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Today I'm expecting a lot of total wine, a lot of total wine, rye share probably. The weather is not necessarily nice out, but it's not raining, which I guess by default means it's kind of nice. So, I'm kind of rambling, trying to catch you guys up on my life right now. Uh, it's good. Can't complain. Well, I don't have my iPhone right now, which I guess is a complaint, but I technically do have an iPhone 14 Pro, but I, it, it can't be configured. I don't know. So I can receive a phone call. I can answer it. And that's it. I can't call you back. I can't text you. I can't do none of that stuff. Of course, the IT guy is out at the W2 when it happens. So I have to wait for him to come back next week. So, yeah, that was a lot. That was a lot. So, yeah. Anyways, we're making our way now towards Arlington. We'll see you guys there. Let's go. Alrighty, guys. So we're, at, we're, we're in the garage of Total Wine. First order is paying $750, going like two miles, I think. Uh, and it's only a couple items, four items, so yeah, four bottles of wine. So, you know, no car really needed. But yeah, man, it's not that I feel sick, I just feel tired. Like I just think like I'm tired of being tired. I'm tired of being tired. Anyways, we'll see you guys. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Good, man, how are you? Oh, thank you. I'm just picking up for Deborah. Deborah. Oh, right. yeah. Thank you. You know what's the latest when you guys get orders or receive the orders like online? Like the, Say again? You know what the latest time is that people can place an order? It kind of depends. I mean, most of our, for these, it has to give us like at least half an hour to actually get it together. Right, right, right. right. So usually like, I mean, they taper off oh, like, once later in the evening, right, like 8.30, right. 9.00. 8.30, 9.00. And it's Because you guys close at 10, right? What time yeah. you? Yeah. Okay. Come on. Thanks so much. Hey guys, we are leaving Total Wine. And we're only four minutes away, except, I don't know, the GPS thinks I'm upstairs, which I'm not. So I got to see what road he thinks I'm in. Uh, but yeah, you know, smooth pickup. I was asking him, what I don't think he understood, or maybe I didn't phrase it properly. I was trying to ask him, like, when is the latest time that someone can place an order, you know, uh, for it to be delivered? Let's see here. Oh, it went up by itself. Nice. Cool. Um... Because I was thinking maybe like 30 minutes before they close, maybe an hour before they close. I don't know. But, oh, and oh, you know what? It's actually going to work out. Actually, no, never mind. I don't even know what I'm talking about. The UPS has no idea where I'm at. I have no idea where I'm at real quick, so I'm trying to figure that out. Um, I'm just going to make a left because uh, if I'm going the wrong way, it's easy to make in this right. Anyways, uh, not a bad first order. Current time is 6 p.m. 6 p.m. on the dot. Uh, so we can make today between now 6 p.m. and 4 a.m. What's that? 10 hours? Can we get 250? I think we can. 
hopefully, hopefully, that's the goal, that's the goal. Anyways, we are, we are still four minutes away, even though I made the, I made the right turn though, by the way, the proper turn, which was a left turn. Um, but yeah, anyways, let me get this dropped off. See you guys in a few. Alrighty guys, this is the same building where last time my dumbass could not, well, first of all, the lady wasn't picking up the intercom, so that's not on me. But oops, I never tried opening the door because I assumed that it was locked. It was kind of late at night, not really, but. And then the other Uber guy comes in and he just opens the door, basically. So the first thing I'm gonna try today is opening the door, if it's open. And it is open. Nice. Okay. Is this, is this the same lady? I don't know, maybe it might be. I think it might be the same lady, actually. The one with the little yappy dogs. Let's see. I guess we'll find out in two seconds. Yeah, you know what? I think it's her. I think so. Let's see. Yep. So I got them all riled up. <laughs> One quick second. Let's see here. Yeah. Here you go. And this quick little signature, you can just squiggle something on there. Yeah. And then you want me to hand this to you, you got it. Yeah, no, I got it. Yeah. Have you a good night. So You're welcome. Have Thank you. Night. Thank you. Yeah, definitely the same for sure. Let's see here. Does it go up or does it stay the same, guys? Let's see. How do you feel? Very safe. Ooh, it went up. Look at that. It went to 1150? Yo, let's go. There's a dollar peak? See, I hate the fact that, that I never know when there's a peak. And this elevator, there's no signal, so. Bruh. It's the worst part when I can't refresh the app because here it doesn't give me the option to refresh. Right, so we got the first order in the books here from Total Wine. It went up from 750 to 1150, if I'm not mistaken. Now there's a dollar peak that I was totally unaware of. You know, it is what it is. Uh, then this one came along from the Tasty Chicken and Lamb, I think. I've never been there before. And a 7-Eleven, I think it's paying $14.50 uh, for like four miles. So we're going to go ahead and check out this Tasty, what, hold on, it's called the uh, Tasty Chicken Box and Lamb, my bad. Uh, first time ever going there. We're only four minutes away, so I'm sure that I've seen it. Because uh, according to the, yeah, according to the GPS, it's like, Oh, you know what? I actually, I have seen it. I've seen it. I pass it all the time because um, you know one of those places that says we're open late till midnight, this and that. Uh, it's a little bit further out from Clarendon, but still walking distance. But still. Anyways, that was your week. Let me know how your week went. I'm always, it's always curious or interesting for me to see, like all the gig workers, like how their week went and whatnot. You know, so it was good to see and people are doing well. Of course, then there's people like, oh, I was so slow, this and that, which is also the reality in many places. Um, luckily for me, I think, you know, the catering apps are really saving my butt. You know, Zifty, Delivered, uh, oh, man, this guy. See, uh, yo, to this Amazon drivers. They just park their van wherever, man. This guy is just chilling in the middle. No hazard lights, nothing. Just parked in the middle of a lane. Wild. Uh, but yeah, anyways, we're almost at the chicken place, chicken lamb place. We'll see you guys there. Let's go. Alrighty, guys, we're here at the uh, TCBL. Nice. T okay, okay, I see you at the TCBL here. I've uh, never been here before, but as you can see, they're ready for deliveries. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm just picking up for Saskia. Sa Saskia? Yeah. Hey, butchering it probably, but you know. Cool, so, thank you so much. Yeah. 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 Right? <laughs> yes, have a good night. <laughs> thank you. Alright, you guys, we're here and we picked up for Saskia. What a name. This bag, though, it is about to break. Let's go. Guys, we're leaving the TCBL which I actually really do want to try. It smells so good in there. If, if somehow I could transfer the smell and you guys could see or smell what I was smelling, it smelled real good in there. It, the, 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 um, the setup is kind of interesting because it looks really small, but there's, a, there's a, like a door to the left, or not a door, but like a passageway, and then you can actually, there's plenty of seating right there. Anyways, got the order picked up. Now we're five minutes away from the 7-Eleven. The friendliest 7-Eleven, which is being sarcastic. I mean, last every time I go there, 
the uh, the workers there, yo, monotone, robotic. Like, tell me, tell me you hate your job without telling me you hate your job, kind of people. You know, which I get. I've had jobs like that before. We really dreaded going into work and this and that. Uh, you know, I get that, but still. Anyways, five minutes away from that one, I guarantee you it's probably like some kind of alcohol, probably. Most most of my orders are like that. Oh, you know what? I forgot to turn on the skip card, which I'll probably turn that on once we're done with the first delivery. So we can, you know, we'll see if we can do another one. But yeah, so so far, and you know what? Not bad. I, I wouldn't call it a hot start, but uh, I would call it, you know, maybe like lukewarm, you know? Could be worse, could be better. But uh, it's okay. So, anyways, we'll see you guys at the friendliest 7 Eleven. Let's go. Right, guys, here we are at the 7 Eleven, and we got pretty lucky with the park here, actually. Let's see what they got Anna, margarita, cocktails, toothpaste. Okay, hey, get, get your alcohol and your toothpaste. Makes sense. Let's see. Hello, I'm just picking up for Anna. Thank you. Guys, that was pretty quick. I'm gonna take a picture of this thing. Hold on. Let me see. Take a picture of the bag. Let's go. Guys, we're leaving the 7 Eleven. We're three minutes out, but I don't see a unit number, and I'm pretty sure that it's an apartment. Could be wrong. It's possible, but I, I just don't remember seeing that many houses in that area. I'm probably wrong. Uh, or when we get there, we're, we're gonna have to call them. So, you know, it is what it is. But again, only two minutes away here. By the way, here's the Rio Cantina. The Rio Cantina. The Taco Bell Cantina. The, it's open actually 24 hours. So I, I wonder when they stop like serving alcohol and things like that. But, or the, you know what? No, it's got to be like just any other place. Unless they have like a... Well, technically if you go to a bar, they don't stop serving until like 1.30. But I wouldn't consider... I mean, maybe they do have the same kind of license. It's like, you know, Taco Bell Cantina. I don't know. But it's open 24-7, so like if you're really craving that Taco Bell, you know, you can just drive a little bit. I wouldn't drive all the way out here from my house. It'll take way too long. But, uh, okay, yeah, see, it's going to a hotel. To a hotel. That's going to be one of those top drop-offs because uh, they didn't put any information whatsoever here. I, the Cl Clarion, the Cl Clarion Hotel by Choice, by Choice Hotels. Never heard of it. Anyways, we'll see how long that takes. Here we That's are at the hotel, and it doesn't say it says that there's a room provided. Otherwise, meet the customer in the lobby. Okay, so maybe they'll be here in the lobby. If not, we'll just drop it off somewhere. I don't know. I guess we'll figure that out together. Let's see. Hello. Just trying to drop off an order for someone, but they didn't put a room number. I'm sorry? The address, 1200 North Courthouse Road. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Yeah, is, yeah let me just call him first. Let's see what's up. This dude made it seem like I was in the wrong place. Come on, I know, I know the address. Let's call him. Oh, that's me. For uh, Saskia? Yeah, uh, Sa Saskia, right? Is it for Saskia? Maybe? Yes. No? From yeah. Delhi? Uh, no. Chelsea? No. That's not Chelsea Delhi? No, it's okay. not. I wish, it, I wish it was for you, but uh, okay. that way I could just give it to, give it to you. It's not Chelsea Delhi? No, it's not. It's from like uh, the Tasty Chicken Box. Oh, that's not us. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. Someone that's good, though. Yeah, I gotta, give, I gotta give her a call. 262. Yeah. Hey, I have a delivery for uh, Saskia. Yeah, I'll come down here. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Alrighty, guys. So she's coming down right now. Hopefully, they won't take as long as those people did in David's video. I'm parking across the street. 15 minutes later, still waiting. Um, but, yeah. Let's see. Hopefully. I mean, the address is right because the concierge person made me basically telling me the address, probably thinking I got the wrong address, but I got the right address, so, yeah. Well, for Saskia, there you go, thank you so much, enjoy, thank you, you too. Right. Okay guys, we got the second order dropped off, now funny enough, 
She had instructions like, oh, I'm working in the open space on the first floor. Just give me a call. Come out and get it. Perfect. I call her. Oh, those were old notes. I'm so sorry. Can you come up here? Not a problem. I get inside. Next thing you know, people are moving. So they're taking up two elevators. Which, by the way, I don't think they're supposed to. Because someone was complaining about it. You can only take one. But anyways, in the end, I took the stairs. Only going to the second floor because it was taking way too long. Dropped it off. As soon as that happened, this one comes along from Red Robin. Yum. Anyways. Um, and Total Wine. Going to the same customer, if I'm not mistaken, for like 20 bucks. I said, you know what? Why not? We're only like 10 minutes away from Red Robin. Uh, at first, I thought it'd be dumb to go there first. But then I stopped to, I looked at the GPS. And I'm like, it wouldn't make sense for me to go to Total Wine. Then go to Red Robin. And then drive all the way back up here. So we're just going to do it the way they want me to do it. So... There is that, but uh, money-wise, what are we at so far? Let's see, let's see. Okay, so yeah, after this, we're gonna be around 45 bucks, assuming it doesn't go up, which is not bad, considering we've been online since like six. So we're 44 minutes in, and we're at 25.75. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, it could be better, could be worse, right? We talked about this already. Um, but yeah, by the way, guys, if this video gets around 200 likes, David, the Nola Grind, will come here to DC in his adventure later this month maybe maybe not but i think it would help me convince him to you know basically showcasing it so that people want to see um but yeah i don't know when this video is going to come out but it's definitely going to come out way before he starts the challenge that's for sure but still that'd be fun though you know to meet up somewhere maybe halfway yo i meet him halfway um wherever that may be you know that'd be kind of cool um but yeah anyways let me get a total wine total wine bad robert then to the wine let's right, go guys so here we are red robin haven't been here forever there are not that many red robins around at least not in my area not anymore at least it's only two that i can think of this one and the one by my house and that's it that i can think of anyways will it be ready i hope so i'm actually like 10 minutes early oh snap what so it might not be ready then if i'm that early but maybe maybe this let's check it out let's see for julie Uh, I'm just picking up an order for Julie. Let me check if it's ready. Sure. Thank you so much. It's not looking good, guys. It's not looking good. Hey guys, here we are in Miss Julie's place, I'm assuming. <laughs> uh, we have both orders. Hopefully she's here. Miss Julie? Yeah. Hi, how are you? Hi, good. How are you? Perfect. I got both your orders Perfect. here. Yeah. And then you your ID. Perfect. One quick second. There it is. And it's a quick awesome. little signature from okay. you. You can just squiggle something up here. That'll be perfect. Okay. Thank you so much. Have Thank a good night. Know, Take know. care. Thank you. Alrighty, guys. I've never seen a Georgia ID before. It looked a lot nicer than wow, I think it was the last ID that I saw that wasn't that wasn't from here. Um I think I saw an ID from like Alabama, I think. I don't remember. Anyways, let's go. Hot start. It's kind of, you know, died down a little bit. We're sitting at 4650. Current time is 7.30, so we've been online for like an hour and a half. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad at all, 46.50. Um, but yeah, we're making our way back here towards the little area that I like to hang out at for food delivery. You know what I was thinking? Maybe it's crazy, right? I don't know. I was thinking about doing this. Like, when I, whenever I come here to Arlington, like, just try, like, doing deliveries, like, on an e-bike. You know, because I feel like in Arlington, you could get a lot of business on an e-bike. Because it's close like everything is close by you know and then just I've seen some e-bikes you can break down like you know they break it they break they, they fold so I could put it in the trunk and then just do like rice share afterwards I don't know maybe maybe that sounds crazy I don't know but I'm thinking about doing that so what do you guys think about about that um, but then I would, I would have to think about ooh, hold on, we're getting a ride and it's trash so we're gonna go ahead and decline it Gotta get a helmet, how would I record, more mounts. But it will still be a lot of fun though, I think. I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, hopefully we'll, hopefully we'll get another set of stacks. Everything that I've taken so far has been a stack, I think. Well, except for the first one, the first order. But we'll see, we'll see. Anyways, hopefully we can make at least 100 bucks with just food delivery. 
and then the rest can be ride share hopefully but uh yeah anyways let me know what you guys think in the comments below let's go okay guys guys quick update so we were about to do our first ride share you know uh, order of, of the night ride, ride share ride paying like 14 dollars going to dc you know not the greatest ride it was going to take like nine minutes so it wasn't bad time wise but i was going to keep my dash on until i was basically there right because you can cancel and empower it it's not a problem no big deal then i get this order come through from pf changs showing 48 dollars i don't even care how far it's going i know it's not going that far i think maybe like 15 miles i don't even care um nine items from pf changs uh, we're basically already at pf changs we're three minutes away so almost there but yeah 40 i wonder can i see the items hold on let me see if i can see the items uh, no pickup instructions nine items let's see real quick nine items a cheesesteak a cheesesteak a cheesecake my but yeah it's not even that much food i mean it's it's a, it's a good amount of food but it's not like i'll be shocked if i go if i get there and uh and the food's ready i'll be mind blown totally worth it um but yeah i mean that's definitely before would have been a catering back required order that never came up I'm even more surprised that they're even showing $48. You guys know how DoorDash is. They probably show this at like 16, 17 bucks, hoping someone takes it. But maybe it's been sitting for a while. Maybe because it's going kind of far here from the PF Changs. They're thinking, yo, no one's gonna take this unless we put the actual amount. So I'm sorry, Jenna, we have to cancel your ride. Um, because 48 bucks can't beat that. Can't beat that. You know what I mean? So yeah, and I was close. I was like three minutes away from Jenna's house. So she's probably thinking, yo, what the, you know, it sucks. They canceled on me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But yeah, anyways, we'll see you guys at PF Changs. Right, guys, so we're here at the PF Changs. So this place is notorious. They will tell you. Before they had the little like PF Chang signs or whatever. But now they will come and tow. So like, if the footage isn't ready, we're going to go back out and show by the car because I'm not getting the car towed for 48 bucks. Not worth it. See, let's see if it's ready. Uh, I'm just picking up an order. Um, Kali, Kaylee, Kali. Yeah. I like the sign. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if it's not ready, I'm just gonna be chilling right here because, you know, that's the last thing I wanna happen. Okay, thank you. You think it happens often? Yeah, it yeah? happens a lot. They're really fast too. I know. I'm always scared. Yeah. I wonder why though, like, that's, you know. It's weird because the cars aren't even parked. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you have your hazard on, that's weird. Right, you would think. Yeah. Ah, is that it? Oh, perfect. Thank you so much. Oh, you have a good night. Thank you, you too. All right, guys. Did you see that sign on the screen? Beware of towing. Because you think about it, there's plenty of room. They can still get by. And those tow guys, they don't mess around, yo. They did not mess around. Can you imagine that? That would ruin our night. Anyways, let's go. Okay, guys, we're leaving the PF Chanks. And as you saw, even, the, even inside, they have a nice little graphic or whatever. Beware of towing. That's insane. Before, they would kind of tell you about it, but because those P PF Chang had a little like pickup pick up things on the ground, you would think, hey, you know, the car's not actually parked. I get it if you're parked, but if you got your hazards on and the car's not actually parked, like, come on. Um, but yeah, anyways, that would totally suck, right? That's, that's that's like a like a like a city thing, you know. Like if you go to New York City, DC, I would understand that, but in this part of Arlington, like, come on, that's wild. Um, and I know where the guy the guy always chills. I've seen him. He chills like in one of these like little like alleyways So I'm sure that he probably has his eye out and if you're you know You're thinking hey, I'm just picking up picking up an order. No big deal. Next thing you come out gone uh, oh Man, that would be a that would just ruin your whole night, you know, it's probably gonna be like 150 You know, and then you gotta probably Uber there and take it out then you're in a bad mood. Oh, man I would be fuming I will be so upset, uh, mainly with myself because I know, because I know how it is. I know how hard it is to uh, 
to uh, what's it called? What's it called? What's going to go that way? What? Hold on. Anyways, okay, guys. Quick update, by the way. I'm not quick update, but I'm scatterbrained right now. Anyways, we're 21 minutes away from the. Ooh, hold on. Actually, you know what? It's going to be longer because I don't know why. Okay, so I have avoid tolls on, but it's taking me. Hold on. Let me look at this. Why is it doing that? Actually, you know what? No, I'm not even going to be taking any tolls. It's tripping. Because it's saying 267, and 267 is the toll road. Uh, but yeah, we're not taking any tolls. I don't know why it said uh, it said that we were. But anyways, we're 21 minutes away, 17.9 miles, but all highway. Like, we're about to get on one highway, and we're going to get on another highway. So it's all highway miles. Totally worth it in my mind still. When we get there, it says to call someone. No big deal. But yeah, the food was ready, basically. You know, she said, hey, we got more orders coming out. Then the food came out. But yeah, what a day so far. It feels good to be back. It feels good to be back outside. Even though I sound kind of funny, I can hear myself. I sound like I'm congested, but I'm not. So I don't know, weird. Anyways, we'll see you guys. Guys, guys, so we're here. We already called the lady. I guess her boyfriend's coming down to get the food or whatever it is. Um, but yeah, so here it is in the red bag. By the way, didn't ask her for no picture or anything. It just said, uh, you know, take the order. Is there a receipt? Let's see. It doesn't even tell you how much it is. But definitely got to be over $100 for sure. For sure. So hopefully he'll come out soon. And we'll have to wait for a long time. Let's see. Alrighty, guys. So we got the order dropped off. We ended up waiting about five minutes, maybe. Maybe less. Probably less. It just feels long when you're waiting for somebody, you know? But on top of that, it went up. It went up a little bit, not a lot. Maybe like a dollar some change to 49, 31 or 49, something with 49. It wasn't 50, but it was basically 50. Now we're 19 minutes away, but only 7.5 miles from where I need to be. It asked me if I wanted to change my zone and I almost did, but then I was like, nah, I'm ready to be back in that area. So we're just gonna drive back. Current time is 8.15, by the way. So, and just like that, we're sitting at what? Let me see. We're sitting at $96.11. Hey, pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Let's go. Let's pick up that it's 8.30, and we're driving back. I mean, we're, we're catching a ride here on Empower. I think it's pain. Man, I forgot how much it said. But, just like the last one, if we get something that, if I get something that makes more sense, we're gonna cancel. But I'm only three minutes away here from the pickup so i doubt that i'll cancel this one but yeah so you know so far i wanted to make a hundred bucks with doordash we're basically there 96 11. i'm sure we'll do one more at some point hopefully to get over that hump i think the rest will be hopefully through ride share so yeah funny enough the lady's name is julia for a second i was like what if it's the lady we just got the food for you know uh but the address is different uh, i think maybe i don't remember but anyways We'll see you guys in a few. Okay, guys, we got Miss Julie dropped off. There was so much traffic. Who does construction on a Saturday night? It made no sense to have it. It's specifically where it was happening by the wharf, kind of. Like, it was just terrible. So it took forever to get over here. But we just got her dropped off. I think it was paying 18 and some change. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, that was not fun. You know, would not recommend. Uh, but it happens, you know. It is what it is. So we'll see you guys soon. Guys, quick update, it's 9.34. We were able to catch a ride from DC back to Virginia. We're in Crystal City right now. I think it was paying a little under 14 bucks. Quick ride. Uh, basically, the initial traffic to get out of DC and then smooth sailing once you hit the highway, really. Then this one came along. I almost didn't take it, okay? But then I took it, here's why. 11 bucks, double digits, one item, and all the miles are from me to the uh, Safeway or Giant, whatever the place is. It's only one item, so and I'm pretty sure it's alcohol. Should be easy to find, in theory, so yeah. Anyways, we're definitely over 100 bucks for sure, and uh, I think we're crawling, not crawling, baby stepping it to 150, if not more. And again, the goal was 250, so you know what? We might even crush it, to be honest. Uh, but again, we're gonna stay out till four, so 10 hours, basically. But yeah, anyways, we'll see you guys in a few. Alrighty, guys, so we're here at the Safeway. I think I've been to this one before. Let's see, start shopping. One thing of wine. Aisle 13, so hopefully we can find this Menage a Trois red blend bottle. 
Uh, but yeah, by the way, current time is 944. So this will put us over 100 with DoorDash alone. So yeah, creeping up to, um, I would say 150. But yeah, the goal is 250. So I don't want to stay it's in the bag, but it should be in the bag. Let's see, ooh, aisle 13 is right here. Let's see if we can find this uh, this red blend bottle. All right, it's a spot once more. Because typically, you do a good job of separating things by what kind of wine it is. But over here, they really didn't do that. Oh, man. Uh-oh. This might take a little longer than expected. Simply because I'm not familiar with this wine. Would it be here? Would it be here? Would it be here? Nope. Yeah, this is kind of suck, actually. Red blend. I just gotta find the red blends. I'm not really a wine person too, so it's not like I I know what I'm looking at, you know? So, Cabernet. Ah, see, okay, cool. So we got the red blend. There it is. Nice. All we have to do is find the red blends, guys. So we have to do it. See? Perfect. Cool. It keeps telling me not to go to self checkout. Why is it doing that? It just takes longer. Okay, guys, quick update. It's 10 o'clock. We got the order dropped off. Um, the app was having issues scanning this lady's passport, like it would not load. But I think it was really my phone. I really have didn't have the best signal, but eventually it worked. And now we have a ride here. Um, that we're gonna go ahead and pick up this lady going within Arlington. Those are quick little rides. I love doing those. So we're only three minutes out from her. But DoorDash right now, I think it's gonna be all she wrote, to be honest. You know what's crazy? That when I got the order dropped off, it was like 9.52. Total wine closes at 10. And I was getting total wine orders, but the no tippers, 225s, 225s, you know, or 325s. And I'm like, by the time I get there, it's gonna be closed anyways, you know? And you don't wanna risk marking things that are closed too often you know because DoorDash will deactivate you for literally nothing trust me been there done that so I just declined it I mean it, I wasn't going to take it anyways but then I saw they stacked the order with a different food order and that was still trash um, so I don't even know how that would work but anyways let me go ahead and get this lady picked up and dropped off we shall see you guys real soon again the goal is 250 let's go Guys, quick update. So what I thought was a short ride, right? Because I picked up this lady on Langston Boulevard, and then when I the, uh, the ride offer came in, it said Langston, right? And I didn't think much about it. I clearly didn't use my eyes properly because it was going to Langston, but it was a different street in DC. We just dropped off. Uh, I can't remember her name, but she was so funny. Like honestly, once we started talking, I wasn't even mad about the fact that the ride was longer than what I thought. Um, I think I ended up paying like $22, $23. Don't even matter. Um, she was funny. She honestly made my day. We were just chatting. She, was, she works at Harris Teeter. So she drives. She got like a 40-minute commute. And you know what she said? Hopefully I can find it in the conversation. But she was saying that not all money is good money. Because she was saying, you know, I'd rather go 40 minutes out of my way and work in Virginia, make a little bit less money, but have peace of mind. They work in D.C., I gotta deal with people not acting right and this and that. Even though you're making more money, it's not worth it, you know. And that's true. Because sometimes, you know, your peace of mind right there, that's priceless. But anyways, current time is 10.38. We're making our way back here. Um, not really Arlington. We're gonna go towards, like, maybe, um, where am I right now? Probably towards, like, DuPont. And then just kind of hang out, see, see what's up. But, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys on the next one. Let's go. Guys, we got Miss Isabella dropped off. Um, and it really worked out great, actually, because I was, it basically took me. She worked at a hotel, or she works at a hotel next to the White House. Um, but now she's cool. We're chatting the whole time. She thought she was going to be late, which is pretty funny because I guess the last empowered guy could be canceled. I don't know. But it worked out for me. We're already back in Virginia. Uh, and I got to eat something. I'm starving. So I might just go to a 7 Eleven and just get chips or something. That'll last me for the rest of the night because uh, I'm hungry. Money-wise, I, I don't know where we're at. It's on the screen. 
editor Nova should have put on put on the screen right now. Whatever it is, I would like to think that it's more than 150, but I'm not sure. I think so. I think it should be maybe around 160, 170. I don't know. Anyways, the goal is still 250. Um, we're still confirming the plans for tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna go see the DC Defenders uh, home game, and I think we're gonna go to brunch before. I don't know. It's gonna be a long day tomorrow, but it'll be a fun day. So. This video is probably going to come out Monday, Tuesday, I don't know, once we get to editing. So, anyways, we'll see you guys in a few. Guys, guys, quick update, it's 11.10. So, we're heading back, you know, kind of to the 7-Eleven I like to hang out by. We got a ride. Quick little nine bucks. I, I think I changed my rate card to just nine dollars, being the bare minimum order. Uh, rider, whatever, ride, whatever. But right now, I think the surge that they suggest is a little bit higher. So, it's like, oh, you would have made an extra dollar. I use our search, whatever, you know, but uh, yeah, anyways, what was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, yeah, so basically, we're heading to the 7 Eleven because I don't want to eat pizza, they don't have pizza. Like, actually, you know what? After when we went to Chuck E. Cheese, the pizza there it was good, but it like messed me up, and I'm a bit afraid to eat pizza ever since. But I love pizza, you know, it's, it's quite a dilemma I got going on right now. I love pizza, but I also don't want to have bubble guts, and we're driving. So there's that. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I might just have to settle for some 7-Eleven, like some chips. Because I also don't trust the 7-Eleven. Like whatever has been spinning there for God knows how long. Yeah, I don't trust that. Uh, or their pizza. That's even more sketchy pizza. So nah. It really isn't my chill point. I don't feel like eating McDonald's. I don't feel like eating Taco Bell. Because I'm also going to... You know, when you, eat, when you eat certain foods and you know your body, there's consequences. You know what I'm saying? That I'm not ready to pay right now. Not ready. I know it's dark. My bad. Hopefully, y'all can see me a little bit. But, um, yeah, that's not the move right now. Any of that. So, yeah. If anything, I'm going to try and get on the uh, in-dash footage real quick so I can salvage some of those conversations that I had earlier before they, you know, they, it overrides itself. I might get the, their own DaVentru memory card. It's 512 gigs, which is a lot of space. The one that I have right now is already a lot. 128, but it ain't 500. So, yeah. Anyways, we'll see you guys in a few. This is pretty good. I was like, honestly, I so won't like recognize him. Don't forget him. your phone. Don't forget your phone. Yeah. Because show I don't really yours. use him yeah. to get into places. Oh, no, I see. Yeah, the directions are traffic here. I took. Yeah. So probably you guys right here, Nikki. You ought to just walk straight up. Okay. See that case yeah. on the right, right there. Are you guys good to get out here? I'm down. Yeah, just yeah, let me just yeah, go. Yeah, let, yeah. let me go around here okay. to the right. Okay. And then. Uh, Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So welcome. Right over here. Thank right you. Right All right. Well, you guys have a good time. Thank, thank you so much. Yeah, it was a pleasure talking with Maybe you. Maybe see you guys later. You never know. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah drive safely. Care. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you too. Take care. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's up top, right there. Yes, sir. For uh, Nick. Yes, sir. How are you tonight? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, I mean, that. lately, How lately, when I go to the beach, I just go to Delaware because Delaware's mm -hmm. only two hours away. No, exactly. Uh, and they have great beaches. Like Bethany Beach is great. Dude, and it's you know. the same fucking thing. Yeah, if and I'm, it's closer. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. When I moved down to Virginia Beach, I was like, wow. Everyone's like, you're from Northern Virginia. Do you know anyone that comes down to the beach? I said, Straight up, no. <laughs> Not really. I know everyone goes to the Delaware beaches, Ocean City, Ocean Navy, City, or like Myrtle Beach. And then if you're gonna go far, you go to Outer Banks or like mm -hmm. you know South Carolina, honestly. Like, yeah, Outer Banks, Myrtle Beach. I knew a couple stuff. Outer Banks families, but like I knew a bunch of friends that would go down to Myrtle Beach, yeah. Hilton Head, like all those places down in South Carolina. It's kind of funny. Like if you're gonna drive that far, you might as well just bypass Virginia Beach. Yeah, that's true. Like, or it's yeah. a little bit warmer. Which is kind of funny. I feel like I didn't realize how many people like globally still travel there for just beach. That is pretty crazy that they. Right? It's yeah. like, uh, dude, you come from fucking like Vancouver, Canada, down to there. I guess to them, you know, it's a beach. Exactly. <laughs> it's warmer than where they're from. That's so true. That much. So this is like Connecticut Avenue. Yeah, it's yeah, a pretty busy area. Yeah. We're like it's like here. South of Dupont, right? It's like here, then Dupont, then you have uh, yeah. U Street. Adams Morgan's pretty popular too. There's a lot of people here. Yeah, sure. I know. And it's like impossible to pick up people here because they block the streets. Yeah. So like. Oh really? You know, it, this they, M Street, this M they make it so hard to pick up people. Okay. So if like people are asking for rides and they're here. They, you have to walk down, 
Yeah. Or they gotta walk that way because I can't get that way. You know. Alrighty, guys, guys, quick update. It's twelve oh one. Okay. We got our latest riders rough off. By the way, I was brave enough and we had some pizza. Um, thank you. We had some pizza and hopefully that wasn't a mistake. Um, but yeah, anyways, we're going to, where are we going? I just accepted a ride real quick. Let me see where we're going. We're going back to Arlington, I think. Uh, let's see here. Let me, let me, I'm gonna let her recalculate because I wanna see where, where we're going. Oh, okay, that should be fine. But yeah, anyways, um, okay, so had the pizza. And when I was walking back to my car, this ride came in and we just dropped them off. It's funny because they're, they're from Virginia Beach. And, oh, jeez. Virginia Beach and this part of Virginia is like a completely different animal, you know? So to them, it's like, wow, this is so different compared to Virginia Beach. And I was like, yeah, you know, welcome to the jungle that it is Northern Virginia slash DC. Um, but yeah, so anyways, what else, what else? Yeah, there really isn't much more. They were asking me like, where did she go eat and things like that. So I told them, hey, if you're gonna be in this area, go to Surfside afterwards. Surfside always hits the spot. Um, but yeah, so now we're gonna go back to Arlington actually, which is fine. We're only four minutes away here from Mr. Nick. But yeah, overall, we're killing it today, I think. Money-wise, I think we might even surpass 250 real quick. But then again, it could also be wrong, so I don't know. Anyways, that's the update for now. We'll see you guys in a bit. Muchas gracias. Daira. 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 Mucho gusto. Pues, eh. Gianmarco. Gianmarco, sí, gracias. Así es su nombre, sí. Sí, así me puso mi mamá. <risa> gracias. Gracias, pues, eh. No, ya, yeah, está it's, it's top. Yo sí. Yeah. Sorry about that. No, sorry about that. That's a cool yeah. car. Sorry, sorry I, we're, I, I we're think we're I made you cross the there. street. No, you're fine. No worries. Drunk bitches in the club. No worries. Let's see if they can find the door. Oh, they found the door. There you go. They found it. They found it. No worries. Drink that, but if you do, do not spill that because that is red now. Okay? You do not spill it. You do not spill it. If someone's got, imagine if it's your butt, right? You want one time spilling red too, right? You hit. Yeah. So, that's how you need to drink that. This is where you're car and you need this. There we go. Cool. <laughs> it's just electrolytes. No worries. You just know that two or three riders are aware of the situation and we're going to apologize. No worries. It's not my it's, car. No, but it's, you treat it like it's your car. <laughs> no, treat it like it's your car. Your car. Does she have a nice car? Yes. It's, she's I, very, yes. she is very, like, particular. I'm very about OCD about very, so every, very yeah. OCD. So that's yeah. why I'm like, pretend like it's your car. What would you do in your car? You wouldn't I'm even put a, you wouldn't even heart. put like a yeah, hair guys, in the car. Guys, I'm okay. <laughs> Everything's okay. It, it, it's just we the easiest way for something. her to be and like, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 duh. I need to, yeah, think if for a second. If someone else would be in my car, I would be pissed. Exactly. So we're going to keep that mindset. Listen, <laughs> For the next, like, what? I'm 15 five. minutes, 11 minutes. Everything's fine. Yeah, 11 minutes. 11 minutes. <laughs> we're totally Because it's, because it's, because it's No. <laughs> no, <laughs> that ain't happening, buddy. I love Dude, you. Dude, okay. Is it this one? Or uh, next one. Honestly, next one? it doesn't matter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're, right, we're right here. here is fine. Yeah, yeah, this is perfect. this is fine. We'll this get is there. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah that's, that's perfect. perfect. It's it's literally that building. So we're yes, good. Have a good yeah. night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate your patience course, very much. Yeah, let's go. Let's Someone, go. can you just take his jacket, please? I'm taking the human, so take the jacket. Thank well, you. No, yeah. Drive safe. You guys have your phones, right? Yes. All right, we're all, cool. I was going to say, we're all good. Thank no you. Worries. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Thank okay, you. guys, quick update. It's 219. And for the first time, I think, ever, I was so afraid that this girl was going to drop in my car. Okay? So there was a group of friends. I want to say Sarah, Jen, and Jody. You know how I know their names? Because the drunk girl kept calling, kept talking to them and calling them by their names. Like they weren't right there, but you know, you know those drunk noises, like hiccups, like you know, like that. And ah oh, man, but not gonna lie, yo, shout out to um, Jen. It was her birthday. That birthday girl was the one taking care of people. Can you believe that? That's not going out proper, going out etiquette. But anyways, we're in Arlington. We're like in a random 7-Eleven. I just went to check my seat just to make sure nothing was there and everything is a okay. But again, for the first time I think ever. I was like, oh my God, if I go over a bump too much, is she gonna throw up? This and that, luckily it didn't happen. 
Um, but yeah, so we still have basically like an hour and a half to go. We're gonna go ahead and keep it going. For all I know, we could have hit the goal already. I don't even know. But we're gonna just finish at four as promised at the beginning of the video. So yeah, that's the update for now. Let's go. Yeah. Darlene, right? Yeah, that's me. Hi. How are you? Good, and you? Good. So we're gonna go to the first stop and then extend it. Okay, that's fine. No worries. Oh, actually, oh, it was the last one. I'm so sorry. That's okay, no problem. You're fine. Let's go back. Yeah, yeah sometimes it does. I think it's like the back yeah. of the buildings. Especially like in DC. I don't know you, why. You'd be I surprised. Building, they, there isn't actually anything from like this road. They're always taking people down like this. Gotcha. In DC, sometimes I'll pick out people. I'm like, the GPS is like, go in this alley. I'm like, I'm not yeah. going into an alley. Yeah. Especially right now, it's really easy to make the turn. You know, there's no yeah. traffic. You let me know. Is it okay? Here, swallow this thing whole and sleep. <laughs> Is it okay right here? Perfect, yeah. Well, good luck on your hike tomorrow. tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, appreciate like that. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> Have a good funny. night. Thank you. Appreciate that. Guys, quick update. So, I'm not sure when we last updated each other. Um, but, I think it's going to be it. It's 341. Okay, it's Perfect. 341. It just dropped off the last two ladies here. Well, it was supposed to be only one, you know, stop, but then she added a stop, which is actually better because it's taking me closer to home. Um, and she was like, "Oh well, yeah, we're gonna go hiking tomorrow. And I was like, tomorrow, you mean today, like in four hours? And she was like, yeah. Um, so that's interesting. But yeah, money wise, I don't know guys, it's on the screen. I haven't had time to add it up or anything, but we're gonna go ahead and just call it a night. Uh, hopefully we were successful. I'm pretty sure that we were over 250. Yeah, I think my, it might even be close to 300 to be honest. To be honest, or maybe it's not. I don't know. But yeah, I'm tired. We're gonna go home now, and tomorrow we're gonna go see the game. Hopefully it'll be a good game between the DC Defenders and I think it's the Houston Roughnecks. I think. I don't know. The names, the names of the teams. Hey, DC Defenders are so much better than the freaking Commanders. So. Yeah. Anyways, remember to like and subscribe. Remember, if you get the video to like 100 likes, David's going to come see me in D.C. You know what I mean? So, anyways, we'll see you guys on the next video. Stay safe. Peace.